a young orphan street magician striving to provide for his younger sister, gets entangled in the world of drug dealings. But when he's ensnared by a huge unexpected debt, he discovers that his magical talents may be his only salvation. As he navigates this precarious path, his tricks become his last hope for survival. Hey guys, welcome back to I Am Movies. Today we're looking into the 2017 American superhero film called Slight. But before we jump into the details, make sure to show us some love by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Now let's get right into it. The movie begins with a young street magician named Bo Wolf. During the day, Bo performs magic tricks on the streets of Los Angeles, specializing in his ability to suspend metal objects in the air. One day while performing magic, Bo meets a young lady named Holly who is amazed by his magic. Holly asks Bo how he's able to perform his tricks, but Bo only smiles at her, keeping the magician's secrecy code. Afterward, Bo takes his younger sister, Tina, home, as he has been responsible for her since their parents passed away a few years ago. Bo's unique ability to control metal is revealed to be a result of an electromagnet he built into his arm, which is powered by a battery. Bo had developed this electromagnet in high school for a science project, earning him an engineering scholarship, which he had to reject to look after Tina following his mother's death a year earlier. However, the money Bo is getting from performing magical seems not to be enough as their bills keep piling up. With this, Bo realizes he has to work extra to be able to provide for their needs. So later that night, Bo begs his nice neighbor Georgie to help look after Tina. We then see that Bo is forced to deliver drugs as his main source of income, as living in Los Angeles isn't cheap. Afterward, Bo goes to deliver drugs to Luna, a bar owner, and even performs tricks on her guards before leaving, revealing that he had taken items from them on his way in. Bo proceeds to sell the remaining drugs on the streets, particularly to young partygoers. However, the police soon arrive at one of his selling spots, but he manages to hide the drugs using his magic tricks. Despite his illegal activities, Bo tries to lead a normal life by spending time with Tina. Later, while counting the money he made from the previous day, Bo finds the phone number Holly had given him the day they met, and he immediately calls her to set up a date for the next day. Later that day, Bo visits Angelo, his drug supplier to get new supplies. Angelo is fond of Bo, and even praises Bo's commitment to the drug business. Later, Angelo gifts Bo extra cash after learning about his first date with Holly. Afterward, Angelo tasks Bo with investigating a new drug supplier that has been encroaching on his turf. Later that night, Bo finds the drug seller and manages to steal his phone to get the name of the supplier. Afterward, Bo calls Angelo and reveals the name of the supplier to be a guy named Maurice. The next day, Bo goes on a date with Holly, and the two instantly connect. During this time, Holly reveals her daily struggle with her abusive mother, who recently got divorced. However, Bo soon receives a call from Angelo, telling him to come over immediately. On getting to Angelo's place, Bo is given a gun, and he soon realizes that they are about to confront Maurice and his gang. Although reluctant, Bo sluggishly accompanies Angelo and the gang to Maurice's place. After forcefully entering Maurice's residence, Angelo's simmering anger boils over as he confronts Maurice. Feeling deeply offended by Maurice's arrogance and lack of respect, Angelo manages to convey his feelings with anger. As Angelo speaks, one of Maurice's henchmen, emboldened by Maurice's presence, attempts to intervene by ordering Angelo to leave. Without hesitation, Angelo swiftly turns his attention to the insolent henchman, delivering a punishing blow that sends a clear message of authority. With the henchman subdued, Angelo refocuses on Maurice and despite the tension in the air, Angelo offers Maurice a chance to rectify the situation. He proposes a partnership, suggesting that Maurice assist in selling his drugs in exchange for a 30% share of the profits, a calculated move, demonstrating Angelo's willingness to negotiate while also asserting his dominance and making it clear that cooperation was the only viable option. When Maurice's men underestimate Angelo, a fight breaks out, and it leads to Angelo giving a warning to Maurice if they don't agree on his terms. The next morning, despite the previous night's events, Bo continues to perform his magic tricks, impressing those around him. He even stopped by Holly's work and show her a new trick. Later that night, while Bo is having dinner with Holly, Georgie, and Tina, Angelo walks in and introduces himself as Bo's friend. After asking to see Bo privately outside, Angelo reveals to him that Maurice didn't take him seriously, and the gang is going to deal with him, ordering Bo to join them in the car. A few moments later, the gang manages to kidnap Maurice in front of the club while he is walking with his girlfriend. Afterward, they bring Maurice in Angelo's place, and an angry Angelo orders Bo to chop off one of Maurice's hands. Bo, who doesn't want to be a part of it, threatens by Angelo to cut off his hand instead if he refuses. Bo, with no other choice, cuts off Maurice's hand, leaving Maurice screaming in pain. After that, when Angelo drops off Bo and in return for his bravery, Angelo rewards him with a huge drug package to sell. After that night, Bo shows Georgie the drugs, and it scares her. However, Bo tells her that he skims it with baking soda to make $15,000 off his earnings and pay off Angelo then leave town with Tina. Bo successfully sells all the drugs in just five days. One day, Holly calls Bo's attention, revealing that her mother has once again attacked her. 
Bo comforts her and tells her that she can stay at his place for as long as she wants, making their bond grow stronger. The next morning, Holly notices Bo's shoulder and asks him about it. Bo reveals that he was deeply inspired by a street magician he once saw as a child. The magician had pushed a pocket knife in and out of his palm without bleeding. The magician had gone extra lengths to make the not-so-obvious hole in his palm for that particular trick. To perform better magic tricks, Bo upgrades the electromagnetic machine in his arm, making it possible for him to move heavier objects like chairs and subsequently impress his audience. Later that weekend, Bo attends Angelo's party. At first, everything seems to be going well until Angelo calls to see Bo privately. He then punched Bo after discovering that Bo had cheated him by cutting the drugs. Angelo threatens to kill Bo and gives him one week to pay up $45,000, which is triple the amount he was supposed to pay initially. Later that night, Bo returns home with a bruised face and confides in Holly. He tells Holly who continues to support him despite hearing everything. With this, Bo soon begins to work extra time selling drugs and performing magic to raise the money. But after everything, he realizes that he has only been able to raise $35,000. Holly also supports him with $900, which she had saved for her tuition. However, Bo still needs more money to complete the payment, so he decides to steal from Luna. So after delivering drugs to Luna, Bo watches her unlock the safe deposit box, and as they both leave, he pickpockets her office key and returns to steal the money. He almost gets caught by one of the guards who unexpectedly enters the office, but he manages to avoid detection. After having a final drink with Luna, Bo leaves the club. However, Maurice's gang spots him, and they immediately give him a hot chase. Bo gets caught by the gang and they knock him out, handcuff him, and put him in the trunk of a car. Using his electromagnet, Bo manages to escape by lifting the latches on the handcuffs and escaping from the car trunk. Meanwhile, Maurice had already stolen the money in his bag, leaving him with nothing. Later that night, Bo and Tina stay at Georgie's house as they watch Angelo and his men ransack Bo's house. Afterward, Angelo calls Bo requesting for his payment. Bo tells Angelo to give him more time to raise the money, and Angelo tells him that the delay costs an extra $5,000. The next morning, Bo sends Tina back to school, promising to pick her up later in the day. Afterward, Bo tells Holly that he doesn't know what to do, and she suggests that they all leave LA together to start a new life. After school hours, Bo goes to pick Tina up, and he soon realizes that Angelo has kidnapped her sister. Soon, Bo gets a call from Angelo, who threatens to hurt Tina if he doesn't pay up. As soon as Bo is about to say something, the call ends. Now, Bo searches for answers to his problems. He remembers his old high school science teacher, Mr. Granger, who had encouraged him throughout his school days. Bo meets Mr. Granger and asks him for suggestions on how he can enhance his electromagnetic power to move heavier objects. After examining the mechanism of Bo's electromagnetic power, Mr. Granger suggests they add a feedback oscillator and a bigger battery to it. However, Mr. Granger warns Bo of the risks involved in the process. Soon, they proceed with the upgrade working on it through the night. Bo tests his new power by trying to move a car. At first, the force seems to be too much for him to handle as he gets pulled toward the car instead. But after multiple attempts, he manages to handle it. Even though he may look like having the power of Magneto in the X-Men, Mr. Granger warns Bo that the wire in his arm may overheat when it reaches the maximum power. Feeling prepared, Bo goes to Angelo's house with Holly. Bo, however, leaves Holly outside and tells her to call the cops if he doesn't return in an hour. With this, Bo boldly walks into Angelo's crib and immediately uses his power to pull out the metal teeth of one of Angelo's guys. Shortly after, Bo gets attacked by another gang member who uses a baseball bat to knock him down. However, Bo manages to use his powers to take control of the metal bat, knocking the guy out and subsequently sending the bat into a wall, prompting the others to fear him. Following this, Bo angrily calls Angelo out and requests to see Tina. However, as Angelo steps down from the first floor, he immediately grabs his gun and shoots at Bo in an attempt to kill him as a warning to others who might want to dare him. However, Bo manages to stop the bullets mid-air just like the scene from The Matrix. After stopping the bullet, he pushes one of them into Angelo's head, forcing him to reveal where he kept Tina. Angelo tells Bo that he'd kept Tina at his aunt's house, and immediately reveals the address as he can no longer bear the pain. With this, Bo hands Angelo $15,000 instead of $45,000, stating that it's the only amount he owes him. Bo joins Holly outside and they both pick up Tina who happens to be a few blocks away. While in the car, Bo begins to cry as his hands get burnt during the confrontation, but Tina and Holly comfort him. In a bid to start a peaceful life, Bo moves to San Diego with Tina and Holly. We see Bo continuing his public display of magic tricks as his main job as it appears that his hand is now fully healed. One night, Holly is shocked to see all the lights in the house flicker as she spots Bo in the bathroom learning a powerful magic trick with his electromagnet powers, hinting at the possibility of him becoming the next black superhero. If you'd like to see us recap any other movies or topics you have in mind, just drop a comment and let us know. And don't forget to hit the like button, share this recap, and subscribe to stay updated for the next one. Until next time.